Hey guys, out there in YouTube land, how you doing? Hey uh, Facebook friends, just want to say hi. Hey, I want to thank you again for uh, all you guys viewing these videos. You know, it touches my heart um, because, you know, all I want to do is be an encouragement. All I want to do is to be a voice, um, you know, in your life to encourage you in your walk with God. And if you don't know the Lord, I want to be an encouragement for you to, to reach out and find God. Uh, you know, the Bible says, though, he's not far from you. So thank you for allowing me into your home today. And I just want to bring a few minutes of an encouraging word that the Lord had placed upon my heart. Um, and it's simply this. Uh, the Holy Spirit just put in my heart. He said, you know what, David? Don't let Satan into your garden. Don't let Satan into your garden. And, you know, this might be more than just one YouTube video because there's so much to talk about when we talk about the garden. You know, what is the garden? You know, the garden of God is in our hearts. The garden of God is in our hearts. And everything that is in our hearts, the Bible says, out of the overflow of our heart or out of the issues of our heart, our mouth speaks. And you know what he's saying? He's saying, don't let Satan into your heart. Don't let Satan into the issues of your life. Don't let Satan be the one to mold and shape your view of life. Allow the Spirit of God, allow the Word of God to be in your heart to shape your heart, to, to um, grow in your heart, to, to bring about that which God wants in your life. You know, the Bible speaks a lot about the heart. And the first parable that Jesus said, he said, if you don't understand this parable, you won't understand any of the other ones. And what was the parable about? It was about the sower who sows the word of God into the hearts of man. And there were four different types of soil. There was the first soil when there was no understanding that Satan came immediately and took that which was sown in the heart. The second heart was the second soil or the second heart was the one that received it and was happy about it. But when persecution came because of that word that was spoken, they did have no root in themselves and they fell away. And the third heart, which I really, um, over being a pastor and just being, um, in the kingdom of God and, and in God's presence and understanding, you know what, sometimes the cares of the world, the lust of other things, and the deceitfulness of riches can come in and choke out that which God has placed within our hearts. You know, I make my people at church go like this, and that means me. So whenever you see me go like this, that means I'm talking to me too. And then the fourth heart was the perfect heart, was the heart where God's word came in, and where it yielded fruit 30, 60, and 100 fold. So what am I saying in all these things that I'm saying? Hey, don't let Satan into your heart. And the greatest way he comes into your heart, he comes into your heart through your mind. The Bible says that when he came to Eve, he deceived Eve. He put a thought in Eve's mind that said, did God say, fill in the blank, you know, did God say, or what did God say? You know what? Satan could be telling you that today. Did God say he would heal your body? Did God say that he would actually save your family? Did God say that he would protect you? Did God say that he would bless you? Did he really say that? Now that's all the enemy wants to do is bring doubt into your life. And you know what? God is so gracious and so merciful and so loving that he comes to you over and over again to reassure you that what he has said he will do. There's another place in our hearts that God deals with, and that's the place of unforgiveness. You know, in Hebrews chapter 12, it says, Don't let a root of bitterness grow up within our hearts that it may defile us, may make us unclean. So you know what? If you've been hurt out there, I am sorry. But the fact of the matter is, if you can trust in the Lord, if you can yield your heart, your wounded heart to Him, and not allow bitterness and not allow unforgiveness to grip your heart. You can be clean. Your garden can be uh, fertilized. And so that the word of God can grow up within you. And you can not only be all that God's called you to be. But you can do all God's called you to do. And you know what? You will see the hand of the Lord in your life. So I said a lot today. And like I said, this probably is not going to be just one YouTube video. 
But I want to let you know today, or the Holy Spirit wants to warn us today, don't allow Satan into your garden. Don't allow his lies to influence that which God has said. Don't allow it. Because God said, my grace is sufficient for you. For in your weakness, I am made strong. God says, greater is he that is in you right there. Out there in YouTube land, Facebook land, all my friends. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. And now I want to turn my attention to those that might not know the Lord. That are my friends on Facebook. And you know what the Bible says? It says that God himself, the sovereign Lord, has made and set out for you the boundaries in which you live. That you might reach out and find him, though he's not far from you. You know, Jesus said, if we, who are his disciples, want you who don't know God to know that he's real, that we must love each other. Because the love of the Father comes on the people who know him and the people who don't know him. God loves you. And every good thing that is happening in your life right now, the source behind all the good is God himself. And he wants you to know that today. So why don't you reach out and find him, though he's not far from you today. Why don't you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved because God said it. Don't let the enemy come in and steal that word from you. Don't let uh, another day passed you by. You might have had somebody knock on your door. You might have had somebody on your job who's a Christian, who's enthusiastic like myself, talk to you. Don't blow that off. Because you know what? Jesus is knocking on your door, and he is telling you the truth. I love you. Accept me into your heart, and you will feel, and you will receive eternal life. I love you guys. I'm praying for you guys. I'm believing the best for you guys. I'm declaring the, the word of the Lord over your guys' life. So all of us together can, can stand against the enemy and not allow him to come in to our garden. God bless you. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.